for inviting us in oh, to your not studio. A problem. We're it's excited. a mess right now, but this is how it is before a show. Well, we're excited to be here and get to know you a little bit better. So we're curious, is designing something that you always wanted to do or knew you would do, or did you fall into it somehow? Um, I was always the arts and crafts kid. Um, I always loved doing arts and crafts, uh, drawing, painting. Um, my great-grandmother actually taught me how to knit when I was like around four or five. I don't know how to do it anymore, but it's the weirdest thing that I knew how to do it then. Um, but it was something uh, that I lost once we moved. But I've always been into the design, and as I got older, I started uh, designing for my mom. Uh, I came from a single-parent household, so um, she was kind of my model, my role model, my idol, uh, since she was the one that raised me. So I just started sketching dresses for her, and I would show them to her. And the first one I sketched for her was really funny. Uh, she laughed because I had a hole right here in the stomach. <laughs> And she was like, why is there a hole in the stomach? Like, why was my stomach exposed? And I was like, I don't know, I just drew it. And I just kept going with that. And then it wasn't until um, around high school when you start deciding what you want to do. I had already gotten into like fashion shows and fashion magazines. And I'd go to the library and try to read up on any little design thing that I would see. And then sure. that's how I got into Yeah, I grew up in Sao Paulo. I didn't have lots of fashion there, but I never noticed I was in a different field working for her company for 11 years and I and I found out in love with uh, handbags in New York like in 2002. How did you end up in New York from Brazil? I have a sister who lives in the States so we are very close so I have this opportunity to study English for a year and I was bored as bored can be. <laughs> I'm, I'm a horrible student uh, so like it took your time I was at the Grammar's Park looking at handbags, other people's passing by, and I think it was, it, it was the only thing that was catching my eyes all the time. So I bought a machine and started sewing like crazy. So I decided to open this, this shop in May, last May, uh, yeah, last May. So I found the right spot, building a lot of what I do. So why not? I think it was a smart decision I made. You know, you're very well known for your gorgeous, elegant gowns, bright colors, fun, flirty. Mm -hmm. um, do you do other pieces, or is your main focus dresses? No, I will. I tend. To, I try to do the range of a ready wear to collection, ready wear, ready to wear collection um, from the beginning to the end. So I imagine it as if a woman walks into a closet of clothing that I've designed, or her closet. She has something to wear to work, to a baptism, to church to a night out with the girls, to a formal ball attire, uh, evening event, um, just to anything, to the movies, to uh, anything that she can think of. Uh, she might not necessarily wear it all, and she's obviously going to mix and match, because that is the uh, beauty of fashion, is always mixing and matching pieces, but she has something to wear for everything, uh, every event in her life, and she'd, be still, she'd still be able to be comfortable and beautiful in it. We know that you're getting ready to debut your spring and summer collection. So what can we expect from that collection? Well, it's the fall winter. Fall winter. Yeah, I'm it's sorry. the fall winter 2011. No, that's okay. Too many seasons to remember. Right. Sometimes. I do the same thing. I think I just want it to be spring. And yeah, summer. some people just want spring <laughs> so. and summer, uh, we, especially with the weather in Chicago. Uh, it's the fall winter of this year for 2011. Uh, the inspiration was um, a picture of a previous dress that someone had done. Uh, of my dresses and he did it in the sense of it was Asian and I had been toying with kind of an Asian uh, inspired collection because I had never done it. I always like doing something different and something obviously that catches my attention. Um, so we just, I went with this whole uh, inspiration of the Ming Dynasty. Not necessarily uh, so literal but more just uh, figurative. Um, I don't, I didn't want the pieces to look too costumey. I still want it to be ready to wear but I wanted to have that touch or that detail of the Asian inspired uh, uh, culture in there so it could be like with a bell or it could be a seam but yet if she were uh, I mean the way we presented at the show is obviously going to be a little bit more um, Asian inspired with uh, rice petty hats and the belts that we're putting with um, and then obviously with uh, Diego Rocha's bag. What is that on it? This is Python. Oh, no. The color combination I think. Gorgeous. Yeah, how much is that? This one is, I think, it's 1680. Okay. 
and like My it. husband has a phobia of snakes. Does he? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I don't but think the, I could do that. <laughs> Seriously, like we go into Lincoln yeah. Park Zoo for therapy. Right. It, <laughs> it's very, very interesting. The other day, I mean, I had this guy who was a jewelry designer and he was here and he just told me like he has a tarantula as a pet. Okay. I literally, and he said like he holds his this tarantula and I mean, I refuse to touch his hand. Oh, yeah. Just I would for too. like, I was That's like... That's horrible. I That's was like, the I'm thing I've ever heard. I know. I was like, and he showed me this picture. He showed me here. I was there. <laughs> oh, isn't that one beautiful? This one is like ostrich. Oh wow! And the yeah, crocodile. Oh my gosh! That's... It's most of like an exotic. Yeah, crocodile and ostrich. And how much is that? This one is twenty-four. Uh huh. It's just gorgeous. Isn't it? The color is like so. The color is amazing. Oh, I love that color. Yeah, that's perfect for this frame. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's mm -hmm. this is a very good. That's actually is my favorite frame. I love mm -hmm. that. Like I saw. Yeah. I saw the pictures you put up of that and the new ones and the colors are amazing. I know, and some of the bags is like when I love very much. So I have like this period of time that I don't want to sell the bag. So like, of course. I have to make something else yeah. that I really fall in love with, then I like I sell the bag. It's so interesting. Oh, I see what you're saying. Do you know I'm what sure. I mean? You you know, I'm one sure it's love. like having a favorite piece of furniture exactly. when you're Exactly. Um, so I kind of just like a woman with curves. I think that there are probably a lot of women out there that would appreciate that very much. <laughs> Me being one of them, because it is hard sometimes to find pieces that fit. And I mean, I, I get that question a lot where they say, why do you, do you just design for skinny girls? Do you just, and I'm like, no, I'm like, the samples that I have, I always have to do in model sizes. Sure. It's just for the fact that I travel around with the pieces, going to different shows, and there's different, obviously, it's just the, 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 the point of our industry. It's just the models are always skinny. They're that size. But I always tell people, I'm like, that's not the average woman. Even right. though you see this or you see this in magazines, that's not the average woman. The average woman is probably six, eight, ten. Um, so it's like I have to design my stuff sells to the average woman. I'm not selling it to the models. The models are never the ones that sell to. So, so I want just women out there to remember that if you see it on a model, does not mean that that's the only size that it comes in. Okay, well that's good to know. So talking about your pieces, uh, could you possibly show us some of the stuff you're working? With? So these are just pieces. two pieces for the fall winter collection. Um, this piece, uh, it's a real simple piece, um, it just, it's a bodice with attached skirt, um, and I just wanted it to have, uh, these little sleeves, um, and then we did this little pleating on here, and then I chose this orange fabric, I wanted this burnt orange for fall, um, which I think a lot of women might be afraid to wear, but I think that's, that's the beauty of fashion, you have to try, and you have to really be bold with colors, instead yeah, sometimes of, take yeah, a risk. sometimes take a risk. Um, and this fabric is just a polyester, um, it's kind of polka dot fabric, so it kind of has that Asian feel to it too. We get a little closer look at that because the detail on it is really nice with the polka dots on the fabric. And then So colors are always important to me. I absolutely love colors. I think it's part of my culture. I never like really showing anything in black, especially for a show. It's just because I'd rather have the audience see colors and I, I want to get women out there too to... Um, to be a little bit more bold. I know there's some women there that just will be like, can I get it in black? Black or, or brown. Brown, or can I do blue, or just something. Right. And sometimes you have to have uh, color. You also mentioned earlier that in the show, Diego Rocha is gonna be showing his bags mm -hmm. as well. What made you decide to go with that designer? Um, I've always been a fan. Uh, the first time I heard about him, I, I actually, the funny story was that I kept hearing about Diego from other designers and other events and uh, they kept saying, well you must know Diego and I said, no I don't know. I said, I keep hearing about Diego but I've sure. never met. Uh, and it wasn't until last year at uh, Elda De La Rosa's uh, 10 year anniversary party where she's good friends with him. He was there and then I was there because I'm very okay. good friends with her too. Those are beautiful colors. I love them. Yeah. This one here is, it's like an ostrich. Like she's about to come to pick it up. Yeah, I love okay. the gray inside too. Very ladylike, very yeah. like timeless piece. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and everything is handmade here. It's here. Yeah. So like. In a while. By you. <laughs> yeah, me oh, and I have wow. each other guys. So like this one is in the process to be 
finish. It's gonna be like a clutch. Beautiful. Like this. Wow. So it's an artwork. Incredible. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll give you my card. Yeah.